There's uh, four different rooms in here. Uh, in this room too. Someone's obviously staying in there because they popped down just about scared the heck out of me. There's a spare room here. And uh, Granddad... Oh, he's locked it. You've got that room. And here is the showers. Lovely modern shower in there. Uh, this is a bath. Oh no, it's a shower. Apparently it says bath, but it's a shower. Um, toilets. Yeah, oh. not much happening in here. So very obviously it's small. Um, it was like that back in the day. Uh, everything was very tiny. You know, tiny people and tiny places. So it looks like it's just going to be me in room one. Oh dear. Don't worry, folks. Pop. I'll be. Uh, I'll be jumping on the top bunk bed, mate, if anything happens tonight. Alright. She'll be good. <laughs> okay then. I'll see you. We'll see you in the morning. Good night. Have a good night. Sort of hits you when you realise you're actually on your own at this point. I'm starting to hear noises already. Okay, so it is 10.42 at night. Honestly, I usually Google time check and you guys know this, but um, unfortunately there's absolutely no reception here in the valley at all. You guys will just have to trust me on this one. So that's the time showing on my phone right there. Obviously granddad's gone to bed now. I don't really know what I'm doing in this video, honestly. I'm just, uh, just going to see if I can survive the night. I don't know, because apparently not many people can. Why is that mirror there? Seriously, that, that is so creepy. Okay, so it is getting on for like one in the morning. I'll show you here. Trust me, time hasn't been tampered with. I wouldn't do that to you, so I promise. Uh, getting quite tired here. Um, you know, I'm, I've sort of changed my um, sleeping pattern a bit because I've been on holiday, um, going to bed a lot earlier, waking up a lot earlier to do things during the day. I'm, I'm not really sure about this whole paranormal thing. I don't, I don't know really what I'm doing. Um, obviously, I'm going to get corrected by people who are professionals at this. It's really weird. Um, I've seen videos of like, uh, you know, people that try and talk to ghosts and things like that. Um, and they use voice recorders. This is probably going to provoke her more than what is needed, but uh, I'll give it a go. Rose, are you with us right now? Rose. Can you hear me? Did a male murder you, Rose? I can hear noises, but there's nothing coming through the waves at the moment. Um, I just want to say, like, <laughs> not all males are bad. Like, we all uh, have our own difficulties and that, but... Um, not all of us seek to uh, hurt people. Yeah, we're not all bad, us males, you know. We're, it, it, we, we've got a sense of humour and uh, we can actually be alright people, you know. <laughs> Does that make any sense to you? I don't know. One of the second questions that I asked, there was actually a slight wave when it was silent. That's pretty weird, that's creepy. Voice recording on the phone, that's it. I mean, there's apps apparently that pick up you know, signals and that from ghosts and da 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 da. But <laughs> obviously, this voice recorder is all I have and it's all I can do. It's pretty late in the night, 1 18 in the morning. I want to try to get a little bit of rest, probably jam the Game Boys. Haven't seen much happening yet, uh, yet to witness, you know, anything going on in the room. I really don't feel like I'm going to fall asleep though, that's one thing. I'm... There's no internet connection, so no Netflix and no Disney Plus, no nothing like that. It's like, it's very back in the day here. <laughs> I might set up like a, you know, like a recording uh, up the front there, so you guys can see what, I, what I'm doing, I guess, over the next 20 minutes or so. How about that? Okay, it's like three in the morning. Um, obviously not able to sleep. Being in uh, you know, a place like this, my brain just won't physically let me sleep. There's absolutely no network at all. It's like that throughout the whole valley. Um, I drove up multiple roads to try to get reception tonight, but there's just nothing. We can take a quick look down the hallway if you guys want. To see if there's any 
entity. I've been keeping it pretty vigilant. But, um. Well, it's so dark out there. I hate this. Whoa. Doesn't look like there's anything out there. Okay. I want to get back in the room because uh, <laughs> this is pretty. Yeah, I'm not into this. <laughs> Shut that. Just a YouTube gamer, you know. Oh my gosh. I haven't been able to sleep for the fact that there's something just sitting in my mind going, what happens if something happens? What happens if something happens? And it, it really, it does, it sits with you. And, uh, you know, like all the stories you hear from the locals and everything else, uh, it really all sits with you. And then you think, oh, maybe it's true. You know, maybe Rose will come. You stop, well, you don't really stop thinking, but by the time it gets to it, you know, it's 3.20, oh, 3.12 in the morning. I won't fully be able to sleep till morning, seriously. That's <laughs> just what I'm like. I'll keep sitting up like this. What's happening? Oh, what's going on? Five in the morning. Yay. That's when you know you've almost done it. <laughs> you've almost achieved something. Um, I'm going to set a time lapse from now on. I'm probably going to get some sleep. Man, what an experience. I'm going to um, have to get up and set the camera over there where I can um, sort of time lapse out. And it basically just takes photos every three to five seconds so you can see if anything pops up during that time while I'm sleeping. But uh, I'll set the time lapse and we'll see you all in the, uh, in the morning. All right, interesting. I've just made myself a, a black coffee. There was no milk out there. It was a pretty early wake up. Woke up roughly about 8.30ish, eight. I don't really check the time. The uh, bar was opening up and everything, so uh, it's quite noisy out there. And being in room one, you know, uh, you're pretty much situated right next to the bar. I'll pull out the phone and do a bit of a time check. Uh, you can see there it's 9.28 in the morning, so yeah, I haven't had a whole lot of sleep. Um, sort of waiting up all night to uh, expect something to happen, I suppose, or thinking something was going to happen. Uh, didn't get anything happen at all, didn't experience anything. There's the odd, like, I don't know, there's like a um, flicker in the mirror or something. Probably just a reflection off the, you know, off the lights there. There'd be a little slight movement, you oh, Rose? It's a <laughs> Um, but obviously, you know, it's just your brain and your, your mind and that playing tricks, uh, you know. And of course the electrics don't work in here very well, it's an old historic building, so, uh, you know, the lights flicker from time to time. Th th that's what I'm putting this down to, I mean, <laughs> I haven't seen anything else but that. So I just wanted to thank you for um, the awesome, awesome hospitality that you've given me and my granddad. It's been really oh, awesome. My pleasure. So I appreciate thank you coming. very much. It's an awesome hotel. It's a fantastic place. Very historic and uh, definitely look at coming back again because it's a <laughs> wicked place. Thank you. We'd love having you back back here. Oh, thank you very much. Really That's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks. Cheers, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. So we're here at the Blue Lakes, uh, this is obviously the locals background swimming pool I guess or for tourists it's their swimming pool as well, you can go canoeing, you know swimming, whatever you want to do, play fetch with your dog around here. Mind you the lake's looking pretty uh, 
pretty green at the moment to be honest it's not really blue anymore uh, I think it's changed color over the years <laughs> honestly guys I highly recommend if you're in Central Otago area come to St Athens it's an amazing place it's huge amounts of history behind this place it's a great place to bring your family go check out the Vulcan Hotel go check out the old school ruins do things like that because it, it, honestly this place is fantastic and remember if you're in the St Athens area be sure to keep a little eye out for some uh, ghosts.